as usual now basically just looking to find those comfortable positions and yeah what we used to do with this computer says there's no issues there it's just i do not like this position so this is why we do this here now and that is based off of evaluation so i feel really comfortable with that position so obviously the opening up so the bishop's going to be coming here so i may as well just develop the knight Knights coming down, are they going for it? The knight and the bishop for a rook. Let's see, shall we? Don't tell me they've wasted all that energy bringing the knight down here. We've seen this very a lot of times in the videos we've done where they're bringing the knight down, attempting to go for this, and then they take a long time thinking about it, and then they take the knight back again. So it's kind of like losing tempo. Let's just push this pawn here. I'm not going to do anything um, fantastic in that sense. I'm comfortable with this type of movement. Movement taking so long, so the knight's going to jump into here. Knight hasn't jumped into there, so we're going to take here. So, looking for replication with the knight that's a little bit arty for me. It's a little bit too outy for me. Let's hit the knight with a smaller piece. Let's attack the knight. Comfortable with the feel of this type of position. Doesn't look like it's attempting to go into any major tactical type um, uncomfortable position. We know the bishop's got eyes here, we know the queen's got eyes here, that type of situation. So can we stop the snowball? I believe we're okay and comfortable in this position. So that, those are the eyes that they've got on the prize here. Okay, I'm going to simply take. And I think there's one or two ways this can go because he's got two pieces on the pawn. We could bring the bishop here or we could bring the bishop here or we could push the pawn up. Or we could bring the queen up, attacking their pawn, attacking their rook. I'm going to bring the queen up because it's initiative, it's giving them something to think about. Obviously, they're just going to go and castle that protects that area. Attacking the queen, so he's uh, looking to gain some initiative, also protecting the pawn at the same time. I feel quite happy with that type of position though. Yeah, I mean, we've got sites that are coming here, so at some point, maybe we just keep the queen behind our pawn, just attack their bishop, get the bishop off the board situation. Nice and simple. Then it doesn't look like they're looking for anything too fancy in terms of tactics. Now they're now stretching towards coming here, but this bishop is blocked. So we could continue with the bishop attacking the bishop. It's x-raying through to the king. Is the knight looking to attack our queen? No, let's just attack the bishop. Okay, the knight's protecting this pawn, so the knight's not going to be able to take. So I think the pawn's probably just going to attack the uh, knight. Can swing it here, but he's got two pieces on that square, so we can't do that at the moment. We'd have to have this here. Queen's deciding whether it's going greedy munching, obviously. 
We're like a greedy munching queen though, don't we? It's even, it's not going for the greedy munch. Just about to say, even though they're a pawn up when they've greedy munch, does it really improve their position on the board? That's the key thing that we've, we have to ask ourselves. So our, our arrow is still on this point here. So we could still continue with that. Or we could just go and get the rook. Because the knight was protecting this square. As we knew. But now the knight's moved. They may have a different tactic. Uh, so we can take the rook. Because the king hasn't moved off line. Is there method in their madness? Let's go here. Is he looking for a 2 on one at some point on this pawn or something? So they've gone for the greedy munch and like we said it does it improve their position on the board at all that's the key question you have to ask i mean we can come here but the knight is defending this pawn at the moment so do we just bring our knight back around again get it to safety somehow it's just peeling off another pawn hmm Could go here, defending the pawn. Should we give this a but then it's got this pawn, can't go here, could drop down, and then we're protecting both pawns. Um does it seem right though? Does it seem right? Let's drop the queen and keep it simple. Could look to bring a rook here if we've got time to attack this pawn. Maybe the knight's going to get trapped because the king will come and defend. Okay, so there's a lot of shifty business going on. So we could go with the rook here or we'll go with the rook here. Go with the rook attacking the undefended pawn. See if we can squish, but his king's looking to get our knight. Well, the rook is looking to get our knight. Our queen's on a dark square. It's defending with the queen. Does that mean we can come here to come here just to get safe? I think we'll do that. May as well. Rook can come here. Put in a check on the queen. But I thought, well, we might as well keep as many pieces on the... Oh! Now we can't do it. But the knight is defending this area so we can... So maybe it goes and attacks our knight. So attacking the queen and the rook. And they've resigned. Okay, so that was a bit of a move order thing. Um, and a little bit of a snowball started taking effect there. Whether we were winning or losing, shall we take a look at the analysis on that one? Because it just seemed to be. A little bit active towards the end, so OK, let's just start it from here. OK, so we're looking for the big dips in the evaluation to see what the computer says. As you know, as usual, I'm using my own evaluation as well. So if I feel that I feel more comfortable doing the movement I did, even if the gauge bar drops, I usually did, do pay attention to it if it goes below, you know, the two mark, either if it's like plus two or minus two, depending on what color I am. So playing black here, if it goes to minus, sorry, if it goes plus two for the opponent, then obviously I, I might take a bit of consideration but I will have a look at the position first okay so we're grabbing grabbing and minus 0.7 that's okay that's all right so we grabbed so it's around about here where really it could get a little bit funky but we had rationale for every bit of movement so this has dropped uh, plus something for them doesn't like the attempt at going for the bishop exchange 
probably because of the discovered check behind you know for the queen going for the greedy munching pawn but that's where we don't have an issue with that as we've always said if they if the queen is taking it's going to the other side of the board the king is becoming a little bit more home alone obviously purists would say no i'm getting more material so i'm winning so then the knight did move and that gave us the opportunity to actually go and get the rook because the knight was actually defending this square so we could take the rook off the board then the queen goes for the greedy munch anyway so we bring the queen down it's supporting both but yeah, I suppose it's supporting both if the knight takes, the queen takes the knight. So they push down and then we look to actually attack the undefended pawn. Queen comes back, bring the knight into the game. Now I'm not too sure about this uh, next move. Okay, so there's no issues with that. Uh, it's got a bit of an issue with that. It's got a bit of an issue with that. So what was the scores on the doors? Were we supposed to push the pawn? Say knight d4. Is it stopping this or something? So I went there when we went for a rook check. I mean, it's still minus, but it's dropped like seven points. I'm not, I'm still not wearing the apples of this knight thing here. I don't really, it's not quickly coming to me. Uh, no. No. Okay, let's carry on anyway. So then they move there, now attacking our queen. So that's where it became a bit of an issue. So we could grab. Doesn't have a problem with that. And the knight takes, and then we take. All right, that's fine. So only one tiny dip, but I can't really understand. I can't see the majorness to that. If I'm not seeing it straight away, and I have to think about what it is that I'm supposed to do I think it's a bit of a problem knight d4 what is it doing so his knight could still but well, it could go there but the knight would take it I think it's just there to stop this knight from coming here isn't it so computer saying g2 and we just smack the knight. Doesn't say smack the knight though, it says f5. Oh, it's smacking the queen. Yeah, a bit of a muchness really, but it does say it did drop seven points, so maybe I have to pay attention to that, I think. It just looks slow. I, I want to. No. Mm hmm. So maybe they did the wrong move. So it dropped these seven points. Queen takes a eight. What? Queen takes Oh Queen could have taken the rook here. That's why. Dear me, I know everybody would have probably seen that. I didn't see it. I wasn't so focused here. Queen taking the rook. Still show you minus 2.2. King H7. So it's not really giving them, it's just dropped the 7 points. I can't play against the computer. What's it saying? Queen F4, no F4. What's F4? F4. That looks like a total non move, really. I mean, yeah. So still winning anyway, so I'm not really going to lose too much sleep about that, that's fine. Whew, at least I found out why, but it's not too major an impact on the game.